Okay, good day everyone, or good evening pala. So, this is Professor A and I'm on my way to school. Kasi po, part time po tayo. And then, uh, ang schedule ko po is 7 to 9. Okay. And on, on the daytime, meron po tayo regular work. Okay. So, it came to me that I will, hindi na ako nakita sa camera. So, okay. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, it came to me that nahihirapan ako gumawa ng content. Yun nga, because I'm really very busy. Meron pa mga personal na mga endeavors. Okay. So, naisipan ko na while going to school, I just record it and then create the content. Out of visibility or anything that uh, relates to or pertaining to Business administration courses. So, but for now, I'm going to discuss about topics regarding disability study. Okay, magandang pag-usapan at marami ding katagungan about dito. The executive summary. Okay. So, some students doesn't understand at inuuna nilang isulat yung executive summary. Okay. So that is wrong. Technically, that is wrong. Okay? Because how can you write? Paano may sulat yung summary? Hindi ko patapos yung mga aspect or aspect or ng visibility study. Hindi ko patapos yung market, marketing visibility or marketing or market aspect, technical, management, and financial aspect. And that's also sure. You cannot write anything. You're not finished yet. So, the executive summary has to be written last. Kaya nga, tinawag na executive summary. But, in your visibility study, it is presented first. Okay? What's the reason? Kasi that's the first thing that an investor, if you are writing it in real time, that's the first thing the investor would look upon. Yung titignan nila, okay. If you mess up your executive summary, uh, they will not be interested in continuing to read your FS. Okay? Say, so, what for? No? It doesn't make sense. See, you mess up it. So, it is important okay, that your executive summary should be written well. Okay? So, kasali dyan yung Again, marketing or market aspect, market visibility, technical visibility, management visibility, uh, financial and socio-economic visibility. Okay. So the, the most important thing dyan, palaging tinitingnan ng uh, investors or your panelists, okay, or your uh, advisor, no, if you check na siya, is that your demand and supply, the highlights, you only give the highlights, your demand and supply, your projected sales, or mag, magkano ba yung nag for technical visibility, equipments, no? Yan. Highlights lang. Okay, sa management, visibility, sino-sino ba yung mga personnels, yan. So, sa financials, yung mga financial ratio, okay, as well as yung payback period. Okay? So, yun. Socioeconomic, manali lang naman yan, no? Write something about what is the contribution of your uh, business to the society. Like for example, when you, when you hire people, that, that's already a contribution, not only to the government, but also to the society. We're in San Mary established your business. Now. Okay? So, uh, malapit na ako sa school. So, once again, uh, don't forget, no? The executive summary should be written last after you have finished your manuscript. Finish all the aspects of the visibility study. So, this is Professor A. I hope that you learned something today, no? And I will make more content. I bang papunta ko ng school. It's mabuti na ganito because I am able to drive us at the same time I can make content.
okay so see you don't forget to like share comment and subscribe sige na para ganahan tayo gumawa ng content sa youtube okay